you're so close together. AD would have been better off pulling that back out and maybe going back one-on-one -on -one against AD. Jimmy, seven turnovers in the quarter for LA. That's your 11th in the game. On the two-minute mark, Devin Booker too strong. And yeah, with those turnovers, Phoenix only has seven points. Now, again, the live ball turnovers is where you can benefit, and the Sun's not able to really take advantage of that by converting that to points on the other end. Wow, Schroeder took a shot. And Booker be called for the foul, and then Schroeder hit the deck hard. Playoff intensity, we see it every year. And Jimmy, this game, the game three matchup is always a swing game. Yeah, a shot from maybe Chris Paul right there, actually. It's called on Paul, not Booker. Well, you called it. I mean, when the series is tied 1-1, one, one, the winner of game three goes on to win 73% 70 of the time of the series. So that's why the intensity is really high, knowing how important this game three is to both teams. Schroeder cashes in the first free throw. Don't forget, more NBA action coming tomorrow as we take a look at the ESPN and ABC schedule. ABC has the Nets and the Celtics tomorrow. That'll be a game three. And then ESPN has the doubleheader with the Knicks and the Hawks. That series all tied in one apiece. They go to Atlanta. And the Mavericks up 2-0 on the Clippers going back home to Dallas. Go to NBA.com or visit the NBA app. Just saw here on TNT the Milwaukee Bucks take a commanding 3-0 lead against the Miami Heat. They've got a chance to close out that series on Saturday. Surprisingly, the Mavericks up 2-0 on the Clippers. Yeah, but, you know, it is surprising, but during the course of the year, season, Mavs won two out of three games. Luka has been dominant, you know, since the bubble. There's a steal by Caldwell Pope, two on his tail, and he scores it. Outraced him with the dribble to the basket. An outstanding defender, Contavious Caldwell Pope, and he gives the Lakers a two-point lead. Minute 22 remaining in this first half. Paul working with Aiden. Now Bridges turns the corner. Bridges pulls it. And Kuzma with a rebound. Great block out that time by LeBron James on DeAndre Aiden. Allowed Kuzma to come right in and snag up that loose chain. Three-pointer comes up short. Chance here for Phoenix, down two. And that's going to be Booker, no. And that'll be Laker ball with 49 and change remaining in the second quarter. Suns have missed their last six field goal attempts. They had some good looks, but, uh, you know, for both teams, you want to carry momentum going into the locker room. The Lakers got down a bit up two, trying to see if they can extend that lead by two or three here. There's LeBron now, bullet pass. Every passing lane seems to be closed when it works inside out. Suns are doing a good job. Don't forget American Express Halftime Report. Coming your way next, they're busy. The Godfather, Ernie Johnson, with Kenny Shaq and Charles. All coming up next at the half, courtesy of American Express. Here's Davis now from LeBron. Short. Caldwell Pope, the rebound, and a putback. And DeAndre Aiden's like, what's up? Everybody's ball watching. I'm blocking out down low or got switched in and no one picked up the loose rebound. 26 points in the paint for the Lakers of their 43. The Suns have 16 in the paint. Ten of those coming from Aiden. Oh, working with Aiden. Kuzma just puts a body into him and that's going to be a foul. Frank Vogel pleading his case that Aiden pushed Kuzma into him. That's not going to fly. But, you know, but that's the veteran play by Chris Paul because the first bump by Kuzma, the official didn't call. So Chris Paul went right there. The official didn't call it. So you go right back at him. Knowing that there's going to be a little bit of contact in the fake hustle right there by Chris Paul saying, I'm going to help you up. He wasn't going to help him up. But that's the smart veteran play. Put the onus on the official. Oops, I didn't call the first one. A little less contact, he calls the second one. That's got Vogel upset. As he talks it over with Sean Wright, free throw misses. And Paul kind of tugging at that right shoulder. 
He's played good minutes tonight. Chris Paul led the NBA in free throw percentage this season. Paul shot it at 93% this year. And gets a friendly roll that time. Makes it a three-point game. Lakers with a ball. Chance at the last shot. Kuzma, no. And that'll take us to the end of the first half. Game three. First game at Staples. First playoffs game at Staples in eight seasons. Three-point game. American Express halftime report is coming your way next. Lakers have the lead. You're watching the NBA playoffs. Round one. On